New tonight in a story you will only see on five. For the first time, we're hearing from Deputy Gary Knowles. Nearly one week ago, he was shot seven times while responding to a domestic violence call in Pottawatomie County that ended with two people dead. Thanks for watching here at 6 o'clock. I'm Abigail Ogle. Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica Schambach. KFCO's Christine Stanwood is live with us right now. Christine, you were on scene that day, and you continue to follow this story very closely. First, tell us, how is Gary doing? Well, Gary's doing good, and you can see that from the hospital. We apologize for the sound. A helicopter is landing, but at this air hour, Gary remains at OU Health, recovering from his injuries. He spoke to me exclusively from his hospital bed, recounting the moments that he was shot. I, I remember all of them. And Pottawatomie County Deputy Gary Knowles is alive to tell his story of survival. Um, I confirmed that I've been hit. Um, I've, I, I have counted uh, five rounds. October 29th, Knowles was one of the first officers to respond to a domestic violence call at 27-year-old Braden Chesser's home. Dispatch was giving me information as I was headed out that way. Inside, Chesser's estranged wife. As Knowles was waiting for his backing unit, he began interacting with Braden. I started engaging him. He started to black out the window, you know, close the shades, um, turn off lights, basically take away my advantage of seeing into his house. Brayden then barricaded himself in the home, Gary moving the perimeter on the backside, his unit on the front. The first round that hit me, uh, threw me to the ground. I think it was the one that shattered my, uh, my shin, but ultimately saved my life because it got me out of his line of sight. I crawled behind a tree behind this house and started assessing. And then I, I told myself, I'm not dying. I mean, this isn't it. Gary eventually crawling to safety. I can hear my backing units telling dispatch that, hey, shots are fired. I think County 20 is down. With a Metaflight 20 minutes out, Gary's team made the quick decision. So they just uh, strapped me in and we took off. I, I rode hard all the way back to the to the city. Gary taking multiple rounds to both his legs, chest, back, and left arm. Did you ever feel like something bigger than yourself was protecting you? Always. It's going to sound weird, but the doctor that performed my surgery when I got here came in and talked to me, I believe on Saturday, and said, if you're going to get shot, this was the perfect way to do it. Everything missed tendons. I mean, other than the bone, and he's like, that's not even a major bone. That's a, a secondary bone in your leg. He's like, the way it happened to you was perfect. If you can believe it, Gary goes into surgery number four tomorrow. That's to remove his wound vac. It, it's like a shot vac, but it removes all the blood clot uh, that is in his legs right now. He remains on his road to recovery. We hope that you are uh, keeping him in your thoughts and prayers as we are tonight here at KOCO 5. We're live outside of OU Health. Christine Stanwood, KOCO 5 News.